moving average from data stream. Right, let's get started. So, given a stream of integers with a and a window size, calculate the moving average of all integers in a sliding window. So, for example, um, we can we're gonna call this constructor with a parameter of three, um, which limits the size to three. So, for the first three method calls, <coughs> excuse me, we have no problem. Uh, calculating the average, except the last call, we are getting rid of the first element of the array. So in the last call, we have 10, 3, and 5 with the addition of 5, and we got rid of 1. So what data structure can we use? I'm thinking DAC because this is very similar to the least recent use cache. So without further ado, let's do it. 30 minutes, okay. So all right, so we're gonna go in we're going to have a deck and then we're going to keep track of the current size. Well actually you know what? Now, we don't need to keep track of the current size. We can just use, we can use the size of the, uh, size of the deck to keep track of the current size. Now, so first we need a deck and it's integer. We call it DQ. Link list. And um, at the same time, we need to keep track of. So, in order to have constant running time, we need to have a sum to keep track of the sum of all the elements. So this is going to be sum, and uh, I think that's that's about it. That's what we need. So this algorithm is going to be whenever when we are not reaching the limit, we will add the numbers. We'll keep adding our numbers. So right now we at this point what we need is the size of the deck, right, and the sum. So after that, we reach the limit. So first of all, we need another. We need another variable. It's the limit. So size limit. Okay. So when we reach that limit, it's time for us to get rid of the last element and put the first element in. Okay. So size limit. Is equal to size, all right. So, well, you know what? Let's not initialize it. The variable, the uh, deck here, and let's initialize it here. It's for a uh, better industry and in, in better practice in industry, you know. So this goes first at the top and we'll initialize the deck and we will initialize the uh, sum okay so now we have next so first of all we are going to see if the limit has been reached yet so if it hasn't been reached then if the limit hasn't been reached, then we will just keep adding. First, we need to check if deck dot size is equal to size limit. If it is, then we need to remove 
the uh, first element deck remove first okay and then after that we will increase the size well the deck is already taken care of that so what we need to do is to only add the sum add the variable to the sum valuable what the fuck add the uh, value to the sum so so I think for better practice we should initialize this as a sum 0, 0 0.0 and sum plus valuable at uh, first let let's convert it to double all right and then what we need to do is return the sum divided by first we need to convert it double and the deck the size of the deck now don't forget to do one more important thing is that we need to add this value to the deck okay all right so let's see so yes so we initialize this initialization uh, for this function for the next function first we're gonna check if we have reached the limit yet um, yes then we will get rid of uh, get rid of the um, first element of the deck and minus it well of course we don't want to lose any position so we're going to convert it to double right and then when we and then we're going to add it back up and then we're going to add the last element back up and then we're going to add it to the uh, deck and at the end of the operation we are going to get the get the average so which is sum divided by the size of deck okay now I think let's test if that looks about right to me let's check Accept it. All right. Awesome. I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.